My brows look like crap. Disregard the brows, disregard. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be kind of doing something that is currently trending. Um, it's the Zodiac makeup challenge, makeup tag. I don't really know what it's called. I do know that I've seen a ton of people do it. I know James Charles did it. I know Nikki Tutorials did it. And I'm sure there are tons more, but those are the main two that I've seen. So I just wanted to try to kind of do it, take my own take on it, and we're just gonna see how it goes. Basically, I'm gonna be getting ready, doing a makeup look. I'm also going to be using some new stuff that I have, so that'll be fun. So if you're excited to see the makeup look I create for my zodiac sign and answer some questions and all that fun stuff, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a tag or challenge. I haven't done one of these in forever. So I'm going to be doing a zodiac makeup challenge. Now I'm not very knowledgeable, educated, I don't know what you want to say about the signs, so I'm going to have to kind of Google. I do know I'm a Gemini. I know, I know. Please, I can feel your reaction through the camera. I'm aware I'm a Gemini. <laughs> So basically, I do know that James Charles is also a Gemini. I am going to be doing half my face one way and half my face the other, which was something that James Charles did, so I want to give him credit where credit is due. So one side will probably be this one. I'm going to be doing like my normal, just laid back, nude, cute, here for fun look. And this side is going to be the bright and bold and super fun, colorful looks that I love to do. So it's just kind of what I, it's a part of me. Like you get one or the other, there's no in between. Super, super bold and bad or super, super nude and quiet. Like that's just it. That's what you get for me. Take it or leave it. But I'm also going to be using the new ABH and Amrezi palette. And I do also know that she is a Gemini. I think her moon is something else though. A uh, Leo maybe? I don't know. But I do know she's a Gemini. So I thought what better palette to choose to do a look today than this one. Okay, so I'm using astrology hyphen zodiac hyphen signs dot com and I went under Gemini. So the element is air. Oh, that's nice. So maybe I'll put some blue. Some blue in my crazy look. So I am going to do my eyes first. I always do my eyes first. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. And I'm going to go ahead into this palette right here. I will put the price of this beautiful palette right here for you to see because I do not remember it. Um, it is really, really pretty. It is longer than the normal pans. Ooh, so pretty. It's just full of glitter and pink and just says I'm Resi on it. So there are 16 shades in this palette and I'll go ahead and give you a closer look at it. And it is super, 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 super pretty. I am obsessed with Leo. I'm obsessed with Liddy, Barb, Resi, Gemini. All right, so I am going to, I've already put some concealer as a primer down. I don't know these noises I keep making, but I'm going with it. So I put some concealer down as a primer, and I also did the Milk Makeup Blur and Set as a setting powder, and I'm going to go first into New Yorker. I think I said that right. New Yorker. I don't know. <laughs> Do not come for me, please. I'm trying. So I'm going to go in with that and I'm going to put that actually all over this eye and just in the crease of this eye. So it says that my colors are light green and yellow. So I actually do not like either of those colors on me personally. So my day is Wednesday. Um, also disagree. So... I'm actually going in with New Yorker all over the lid here because I'm just doing that nude beautiful look. So I would have to disagree because I always tell my husband Monday is like my favorite day of the week. I know that sounds crazy because most people are like Monday. What? 
I feel like Monday is like a start over. You know what I mean? You refreshed from the weekend. I went in with a different brush, by the way. You refreshed from the weekend and you were able just to start your week over. I feel like Wednesday is the worst because all the crap that's already happened, you're halfway through, but you still have two more days. Like it's just the most tiring day of the week for me, I feel like. All right, so my overall compatibility is going to be Sagittarius and Aquarius. So my husband is a Pisces. I don't really know what that means, but I can tell you he is neither of those. Um, but I would have to say my daughter is a Sagittarius and we get along fairly well, but she's also just a couple months old. So there's that. My lucky numbers are 5, 7, 14, and 23. And believe it or not, I actually do not have a lucky number. So sure. So I'm going to go in with Wasted, which is this top color right here. It's just like a beige, beigey pink color with some shimmer just for like under the brow here. So, okay, so some of the strengths that are listed in here, we're gonna go over. So we have gentle, affectionate. Um, I would have to disagree. Um, I do not find myself to be an affectionate person. Um, I do try to be a little more affectionate when it comes to my children. It's not like one of those like, oh, I don't care or whatever, but I just kind of like, um, I'm not very affectionate, I'm not very gentle, I'm kind of like harsh. Not harsh, what am I thinking? More like authoritative. Like blunt, give it to you how it is, tell you what it's supposed to be, that kind of thing. Does that make sense? I'm going in with my P. Louise Base 4. Um, so I feel like that to me is not going to be me, gentle or affectionate. Um, it's just not who I am. Like. I give it to people how I see it. And also I have no idea what I'm doing with this makeup look, by the way. Okay, so what are some more strengths? So some more strengths are curious, adaptable, ability to learn quickly, and exchange ideas. Um, I would definitely say that those are true. I, I do come off as like a very curious person. Like I wanna know everything. Like just tell me, I want to know. Don't give me any BS. Um, I'm always intrigued on other people's business, so that's something. <laughs> um, but I am adaptable. I really do feel like um, I do well with change. I don't have any issues with it. Like sometimes I may be a little weary of it, but I adapt to that change quite well. And then ability to learn quickly and exchange ideas. I do learn fairly fast, and I'm going to tell you all my ideas if they're good. So I think I'm going to go in with Resi on the lid, all over the lid where I just put that base. Um, I don't mind, I actually think that if you sit down as a team with work or school or whatever and you exchange ideas and you're able to like do that productively, that that makes you, that's a really good leader quality, so. Just saying. I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, so weakness. Nervous, inconsistent, and indecisive. Hey, yes, 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 yes. That, is, that is so bad. Okay, so I definitely would say like nervous is something for me, but more like anxiety, less nervous. Does that make sense? And inconsistent, like yes. I cannot really commit to anything because I'm so inconsistent with everything. It's so bad actually. So now that I have that color built, I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush into 1988, which is that darker brown that I put in this corner. And I'm just gonna smoke this. Oh my God, that is pigmented. I did way too much. I'm telling you, ABH palettes, man. They are pigmented suckers, you gotta be careful. You might get a little bit of fallout here and there, but oh my god. That is not what I wanted to do! Okay, so after blending and blending and blending, I was able to actually get that dark color to 
simmer down. So I'm just going back into the lid to add more of that resi pink that came off from all the blending I just had to do. Which by the way, this pink is like really, really pretty. Okay, so I think that I'm now gonna go over top of that pink with Barb, which is also like another pressed glitter. It's like duochrome one way, it's pink one way, it's green. Let me see if I can show you here. No, not working, okay. I'll swatch it. It is a little, ooh, see? Yellow, pink, it's very pretty. It's a little chunky though. And very shimmery. So let's see if I put this on here, if it's gonna be like a topper or if it's gonna completely ruin this look. It's a pretty topper, but it isn't really it doesn't come off pink, so I would think that over top of this pink, it would have came off a little bit extra pink, but it did not, and it is flaking all over my face. Ugh. So I don't know that I'm a big fan of those glitters, because I do now have it all over my face, like just one little swipe of my pinky, and it is like all down here all over here okay so what's something else we have going on so i'm going in with glossy from touch and soul it's just like a balm i guess you could say but not a primer i got it from a boxy charm all right so music things that gemini's like music books magazines chat with nearly anyone short trips around the town so i do really really like music i find that music is actually something that i probably love more than most things um like activity wise i guess you could say i'm going in with the elf hydrating face primer on the go and i'm just gonna put some everywhere da, da, da. Ah, da, da. Um, but I do find music to be like something like an outlet, I guess, for me, um, where books like I'm actually not really into reading, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I'll look at a magazine, but I don't want to have to read. So this is the Juno and Company, and this is the Microfiber Rose Velvet Sponge. It is brand new. I'm going in with that. Um, they have it at Target for $6, so I, I know that this was, like, all over the internet, super cool. Um, on Instagram, I just got it, and I had no idea it was $6, like, I would have got it a while ago. And then I'm also going in with Milk Makeup Sunshine Tint. Tint, and not a foundation, so we're gonna go with it. It's new for me, so. I just wanna try some new products with you guys. While I'm doing, like, a get ready, this is kind of weird. All right, so let's go in here with the sponge. So it's just a very light coverage foundation. Which isn't so bad every now and again. Oh, this is making my skin like really shine. Okay, so because it is like way too shiny and a little bit too dark for my skin tone, I decided to go in with a matte liquid foundation which is a lighter shade and with it being matte it's gonna go ahead and kill some of that shine like i don't mind being that i have dry skin having like a super like dewy looking skin but look at my forehead like that's not dew honey that's like oil so i will have to say that like i feel personally that Gemini's get a bad rep. So what do I mean? I mean, when you tell someone like you're a Gemini, they immediately go to, I don't know if you guys have gotten this or not, but they immediately go to the, you're fake, you're two-faced, you're, you know what I mean? Anything to do with the twins. And I really just don't, think that that's what Gemini really is. I think that 
it's more that we are easily, we can easily change with our environment. We can easily change with our surroundings or like our attitudes can change real quick, which is definitely true because I can be in a good mood and then instantly be in a, I'm done with you, I won't fuck you up mood. Also, my face makeup today is not working out at all. So let's just ignore it because it's just, what? So my concealer, which I always use, the ColourPop one, is really creasing right now. And I think it's because of all that yucky foundation, like skin tone, summer, sin, whatever. I don't like that. And I usually absolutely love milk products, but that is definitely a no from me ever again. It does say on here that I can have like a conversation with nearly anyone, and I feel like that is absolutely the truth. Um, I may not like everybody, but I can most definitely have a conversation with anybody as long as that's something that I want to do. So like if I don't like you, I don't like you. But in the same tone, if I don't like you, it's usually because you've given me a reason not to like you. So like I don't just like dislike people out of nowhere. Like you have to give me a reason. Does that make sense? I don't know. But yes, other than that. I feel like that definitely does apply to me because I feel like I can talk to anybody in any like walk of life in any form so I definitely feel like Gemini's are really good at doing that so we're gonna go back to the eyes real quick now that we have like the concealer and all that laid down and then we'll finish off the rest of the face so I'm gonna go in with I believe Leo for under here and then this one I'm literally going in with New Yorker and just doing a light blend out and then gonna do a pop of something in there so my dislikes it says on here let's take a look at dislikes all right so I'm gonna go in with Leo on this under eye I feel like it just gives it a nice pop all right and so now I'm gonna go in with New Yorker New Yorker. I'm probably saying that all wrong. And I'm just gonna line down here. So I'm gonna go in with Anastasia or Anastasia, however you want to pronounce it, right here. I guess I'll get it closer so you can see it. Which is like a duo chromey orangey pinky. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right in the corner because I always, even if I'm doing like a bland look, love a good inner corner and that's actually coming out a little bit darker than I expected so I'm gonna go ahead in with dragon which is a super gold right here right here and I'm going to put that on this inner corner and see if that brightens it up no that's not bright at all it's like none of these are really like inner corner worthy. I'm gonna go ahead with barb over top of it and see if I can turn it into like a bright gold. Cause barb is that like light glitter shimmery pinky nonsense. So um, I definitely would say I'm 110% not a fan of the um, like choices for the shimmers. I just don't feel like it's really happening. <laughs> so if you look like it's just not, they're two different colors and you can't really even see them like at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes and then I'll be right back. So the lashes I chose to use are Siren from House of Lashes. I clearly only put one on because this is supposed to be like my go-to everyday normal. I was gonna put both of them on and I was like, that's not gonna work for this long. <laughs> so I didn't. All right, so things that I don't like is what it's saying or what Gemini's don't like while I get into the rest of my makeup. One of them is being alone. 
So honestly, for me, I don't mind being alone and sometimes I actually prefer it. So I don't know, I'll have to disagree with that one. I don't mind being alone at all. Um, I mean, no one wants to be alone all of the time, but I definitely find like being alone can be super relaxing. And so I actually do not put bronzer on this side when I'm doing like a no makeup makeup. Um, so I'm gonna skip on that, but I did put it on this side. So we're gonna go into the blush. And that was Kylie's Almond. It's like my favorite brush, <laughs> brush, bronzer. So we're gonna go in to, it's also another Kylie and this is we're going shopping. So I'm gonna go in with that blush and so I do go way heavier when I'm wearing like full face foundation. So I take it all the way to my nose and then all the way to my hairline like so. And then for just your everyday, I will literally just do a little light. So we're gonna move on to the next thing. Being confined, yes, I do not like to be confined. Repetition and routine. I get bored very easily, but I feel like I definitely need routine. Like I don't know what they're talking about because I have to have some routine in my life. For it to be like crazy popping, I can't do that. So Hyper Real Glow by MAC, and I'm gonna go in with this, I don't freaking know, this center color right here. Um, so it can't be like crazy, like I feel like I'm too much of a control freak for things not ooh, to be routine. Like I'm actually okay with routine. I'm okay with repetitive. I'm okay if I do the same thing every day for the rest of my life as long as it is scheduled and not like out of nowhere. Like I just can't, I don't do well with like surprise. I don't do well with anything like that. So I'm gonna go up here a little bit too. Just give you like an extra, just extra glue on the fancy pants side. And then this one I just do like a normal, but I just kind of like lightly dust it when I'm doing like a more natural one. So those are the dislikes. Expresses, expressive and quick-witted. I'm definitely expressive. Um, I am quick-witted. My husband always says that all the time. He's like, you're like that. Um, Gemini represents two different personalities in one and you will never be sure which one you will face. So you have like good mood me and then you have like just don't can talk to me and me. Um, and like you just never know which one you're gonna get. I never know which one I'm gonna get. What are you talking about? So for the lip, for this half, I'm gonna be going in with the Lunar Beauty Liquid Lipstick and this is in Dreamsicle. So just like with my makeup, I feel like that statement is true. You either get this side of me or this side of me. There is no in between and you just never know what you're gonna get. And usually it has nothing to do with you. It's just how I am. So I guess it is the Gemini in me. Because a lot of people will think that they've done something wrong, but they haven't. It's just my personality and how I come off. So if I ever come off bitchy and you haven't done anything, 99% I'm just being bitchy and just ignore me. <laughs> I look crazy. So I'm going in with a nude 5 from KKW on this side. We're actually done with the makeup look. Like, it turned out really nice. So you have this side of me. And then this side of me. Or in between. It's like you don't get in between. That's just not what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys back out. So this is the Gemini Zodiac sign look that I came up with. The very down to earth everyday look that I would do if I was running out the door. And then the glam side using the new um, Resi and ABH palette because well, she's a Gemini, so what else would I use? <laughs> but um, as a quick overall of this palette, I do know that it is $49. I was able to look while I was filming. Um, no, I don't, I really wish that I didn't buy it. I really don't like it. Um, I actually never 
usually feel that way about uh, ABH palette, but I found that there's no light color to put in my inner corner, or at least in the light enough for my liking. Um, these glitters right here, Barb, Liddy, and Gemini, be very careful. They go everywhere. And like fallout is something very common in ABH palettes, so it doesn't really bother me as much. But when it's a glitter, it definitely bothers me because that sh will get everywhere. Um, Resi I liked, Leo I like, Cupcake was pretty, um, New Yorker was pretty, it was okay, but that and OG are fairly close. I don't really believe you needed these two in the palette. Um, BK is a normal just black 1988 is the normal brown they have in there again for me only liking a handful of shades in this palette i just don't think that it's worth 49 dollars. it's pretty it's pretty to look at but if you have other abh palettes then you probably do not need this one in your collection so i am sorry i'm resi i am sorry abh but it's just not i feel like here lately they've kind of just popped out a bunch of makeup and I hope that they slow down and really take their time for quality sake because for me I'm just not and like this the glitter that comes off on it I know that's kind of petty but again it's not something someone wants all over their hands and then to put their face makeup on or whatever what have you now glitter is all over their face so this is gonna be a no for me if you like the palette go ahead and comment below and let me know what you like best about it it's okay if you like it I just don't think that it's that good and I wish that I had not bought it but that is it for today's video guys I hope you liked it I hope getting to know me and my zodiac sign was super fun make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one bye